we think IT in the future will really be a different IT industry than it had been in the past. First differential is uh, what I call the experience differential, and that's actually being driven by consumers. Um, we did a survey recently of uh, people between the ages of 18 to 32 across multiple countries, multiple geographies. The interesting thing in that data is two out of five kids, young people, um, basically said they would take a lower paying job then work for a company that doesn't allow them to bring their own device or give, allow them access to their favorite social network. They think the internet is more important than having a car. Um, so it's just a very different uh, workforce that we will see. They demand a very different experience, right? It's the consumer experience that you want in the enterprise. The second differential is a velocity differential, and that's being driven, that's actually driving the, the shift to cloud. Businesses now demand a lot quicker way to bring up IT infrastructure applications to be delivered, capacity to be provisioned. They're not going to wait. You as a business person will not wait for a year for a data center to come up and the capacity to be delivered. You'd rather consume that as a service. And this is where companies like Amazon and others are making forays, right? So that's creating for the IT organization a velocity differential that has to be solved in the future. And the other is a data differential, the third differential. And that is, goes to the fact that there'll be more and more things getting connected. And so we have to deal with what do we do with this data? It's not just enough to store all the data. We have to use the data. You know, people talk about this in the context of big data. But it's the analytics. But it's not just the analytics, actually. But how do you apply the analytics to make the business process a better process? Uh, that is the third problem that the IT company of the future has to solve.